water pH levels that come, you know, that are in our water, there's really not much you can do about that. You could possibly maybe use a filter, you could you can maybe use distilled water to wash your hair, but that sounds like a real pain. So one suggestion is just trying to avoid exposing your hair to that as much as possible. And as for products, you could start looking for products that are formulated at a lower pH. And this also is not that easy to do because a lot of your products, they don't say what the pH level is. And you can try looking on their, their sites, you know, in their questions and answers and that sort of thing. But a lot of times they're not that forthcoming with that information. Now, some of the shampoo and conditioner sets that I have found and I do recommend are Amica the Cure, K18, and Purology. I think these are all really, really good products. The next thing is humidity. Now, you can't control your climate unless you want to move to a drier climate. The only thing you, you can really do is try to manage your hair the best you can. I do live in a drier climate. I really haven't tried some of the products. Now, uh, there are some out there like the, I think it's called Wow or Color Wow, that is supposed to help with frizziness. So I, I personally can't recommend it because I haven't tried it. But if any of you have tried this, this product or a similar product that you really like, please share that with us in the comments below. One thing that I have overlooked is the humidity in my shower. I started wrapping my hair in a microfiber towel just to protect it from that humidity. So obviously the best thing to do is avoid these processes altogether or at least try to minimize how often you get these processes done. But there are technologies out there now that do help protect the cuticle. Some hairdressers use products like Olaplex 1 and 2 uh, while they're actually doing the process and that can really help limit the amount of damage. Again, avoid or minimize heat exposure. But there are, again, products that they offer now that really do help to protect against heat. One thing to keep in mind is how much heat. So a curling and flat iron are way hotter tools than say your blow dryer is. So you really wanna find a heat protector that can offer a protection up to those higher temperatures. If you could extend, even by a day, the days between your washes, that would help limit the exposure to the water, the detergents in the shampoo, and mechanical friction from, you know, the shampooing, the, the towel drying, the then turning around and styling your hair. So if you could wash your hair less, great. But if you can't, what you then have to do is be very, very careful when you are putting it through all of this process. 